open up their eyes real wide. Okay. The right one is difficult. Okay. Follow my finger here. Look all the way to your left. Can you follow my finger? With both eyes. Mm -hmm. That's with the thighs. But I'm following right. two fingers, really. I know, it's hard. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, keep following, keep following. I'm going to shine a light in your eye, okay? So you look straight ahead. Okay. I'm sorry. That's right. So was that reactive? I couldn't tell from... It, it does react a little bit. You can it's see improved. It. Yeah, it reacts when the light gets turned on. Sorry, I'll let you blink. blink. Yeah. Is there consensual... Uh, a little bit, actually. So, can you can you narrate what her eyes, what the extra ocular muscles were doing on that? Yeah. So, um, so your right eye um, is having some difficulty moving uh, immediately, so towards the left and upwards. So, if you try to look all the way to your left, try mm -hmm. to look all the way to your left. I guess that you hurts. have. Okay. So you have. You have some motion, but it's not quite as um, uh, to the extent of, of the abilities that your eye can move, and not quite to the same amount degree that your left eye is moving. And that's why the eye so, has been. Did she look down there at all? Or? Yeah. So look down as best as you can. Okay. No, looking down is not so bad. And look up all the way. But looking up. And then look to the right all the way. Now that doesn't hurt nearly as So much. elevation, she has a little trouble. Yeah. Um, so elevation and adduction. And adduction. She has a little bit of trouble. Which so kind of fits with an oculo motor. Yes. Or, okay. Sorry, yes. it's just kind of floating freely there. I'm not exactly sure which direction to look. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so let me check a couple other things. So raise your eyebrows. Okay, close your eyes, shut real tight. Close your eyes real tight. Okay. So, so we know she has a posterior communicating artery aneurysm. And um, you were saying your headache started on Monday. Um, because we've had a weekend, the 6th or 7th of February, the headache started, and it was a pinpoint right here, you know, kind of like an ice pick. And I'm like, okay, I got a migraine coming on. Because you do get migraines. Yes. And it went for a couple of days, and I would massage the occipital nerve, and sometimes... Where I'd massage it, it would get better. If I massaged it in a different area, it'd get worse. Did the hot and cold. And then Monday, it just all came together, every migraine. So it was a kind of a thunderclap type thing? I mean, like over a matter of minutes? or It was, it was getting... Over an hour? It was getting more and more migraine-ish. Okay. And then I'd say over a period of two, three hours. So okay. Two, a max salt to goody powder and then a max salt and none of it worked and then wham and then I just dropped so you passed out well not passed out I dropped meaning okay I but you did have a out, you did have I an did episode of passing out I Monday night have a blackout episode trying I'm sorry I can't open that keep it open no that's all right completely understand um was home alone I'm like okay I'm gonna drive myself to the hospital by that time I had gotten too far and I began vomiting and I blacked out for a little bit and okay. then was still vomiting when the EMTs found me. Okay. I managed to 911 on my phone and they just tracked me. Okay, got it. So. Um, I think what we're going to do is, so you, you do have the aneurysm, um, it's, it's on the back right, basically side of the circle at the base of your brain where all the blood vessels come together. Um, we're going to look at the imaging that you have and may, maybe, you know, like I was mentioning earlier about repeating some of the imaging, but I think it's pretty clear what's being done, what's going on. So, um, in your particular situation, um, what's likely happening is the aneurysm is actively enlarging. So there's no active bleeding from it, so it hasn't ruptured yet. But the fact that it's actively enlarging makes it somewhat of an emergency. So one of the things that we're that explains why yeah. I keep feeling an increased amount of pressure. Um, yeah, so it can cause the type of headache that you're complaining about behind your eye. So what we're most likely going to do is take you to the angio suite to do an angiogram and try to put some coils in this aneurysm this morning. And we're probably going to do it kind of somewhat on an emergent basis, okay? Peace, peace.